step by step and side by side how to record a song using Pro Tools and GarageBand. Lesson 1. Connecting Peripheral Equipment. This lesson will show you how to connect peripheral equipment such as microphones, instruments and interfaces to your computer so that you can begin to record music. This is the M-Audio M-Track interface. It allows you to connect up to two microphones or two instruments like a guitar or bass to your computer. Before you make any connections, you should always check that the volumes are turned down to zero. There are two volumes on this interface, one for the headphones and one main level. You should also check that the gain knobs are on zero too. Connect the USB cable to the interface. Use the square end. This is known as a USB-B connection. Then connect the other end of the cable to a spare USB port on your computer. This is known as the USB-A connection. Once you have connected the interface to your computer, the green lights on the interface should light up. You will need some monitor headphones that have a 6.3mm stereo audio connection on the end. Many headphones will come with a little connector that converts your small audio plug to a larger one. Connect your headphones to the headphone socket on the interface. This socket has a picture of some headphones to help you out. You will need an XLR or microphone cable and a microphone. Put the female end of the cable into the microphone. Put the male end of the cable into mic input 1 on the audio interface. If your microphone is a condenser microphone, then you will need to ensure phantom power is enabled. There is a switch on the interface labelled plus 48 volts. Check that the mic line slash guitar switch is on the mic setting. You will need a guitar that has a place to plug in an instrument cable, such as an acoustic electric, electric or bass guitar. If the guitar uses a 9 volt battery, like acoustic electric guitars do, check that this is not dud. You will also need an instrument cable. Check that the volume for your guitar is turned to zero. Connect the instrument cable to your guitar. Connect the other end of the instrument cable to the guitar line input on channel 2 of the interface. Check that the mic line guitar switch is on the guitar setting. Now we have to connect the MIDI keyboard. This is the Axiom 49. It connects to the computer using a USB cable. This end goes into the back of the keyboard. The socket is marked with a USB picture. The keyboard does not need any extra power because it gets its power from the computer. This end of the USB cable goes into a spare USB port on your computer. That is the end of the first lesson. Lesson 2 will show you how to open up Pro Tools and GarageBand and check that the equipment that you have connected is working correctly. Mm -hmm.